Number three. Today has a jar full of nickels, dimes, and quarters. The jar has a total of 264 coins with a value of $37.20. There are 20 more quarters than nickels in the jar. How many dimes are in the jar? So this is a pretty classic uh, system of equations question. So I'm just going to label nickels, dimes, and quarters as x, y, and z. So x is the number of nickels, y is the number of dimes used in the quarters. So if the jar has a total of 264 coins, then that means that x plus y plus z equals 264, right? And the value is $37.20. Well, the value of nickels will be 0.05 times x, the value of dimes will be 0.1 times y, the value of the quarter will be 0.25 times z, times the number of quarters. And altogether, that's going to be $37.20. And then we see there are 20 more quarters than nickels in the jar. So that means if you take the number of nickels and you add 20, you will get the number of quarters. Or maybe an easier way of seeing it, uh, there are 20 more quarters than nickels, which means that the number of quarters minus the number of nickels equals 20. Both of those are the same equation. Some of them are easier for people to see. I wanted to show you both ways. All right, so now we solve the system of equations. And I'm not going to do this by hand. There's ways to solve this, a linear system like this, in most calculators. Um, not in scientific ones, but I know the TI-84, you can use like an RREF. But I use an Inspire, so I'm going to show you how to do it on an Inspire. So you go to your calculator page. You go to Algebra, and then down to Solve System of Equations. And then here, you have two options. One is for a solved system of linear equations. One is just a system of equations. Well, I always use number one because it just works for anything. Even though this is a linear system of equations, I'm just going to use the top one because it works for everything. All right, and then I'll have three equations with three variables, x, y, and z. So x plus y plus z, that is, what was that, 42? Nope, 264. Not sure where I got that from. And then... 0.05x plus 0.1y plus 0.25z equals 37.20. So 0.05x plus 0.1y plus 0.25z. And then our last equation, yes, there are 20 more quarters than nickels, so z minus x equals 20. And so we get there are 78 nickels, 88 dimes, and 98 quarters. Well, what were they asking for? Just how many dimes? So y is 88, so it looks like we have 88 dimes. Yep, and that's answer choice B. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, um, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. That said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.